What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today what I'm going to be doing is showing you false positive on the Moissanite tester. This is what it looks like. Um, it's supposed to determine between diamonds and Moissanite. These things are shit. I sell them myself, which is sad to say, but I want to get the word out there that these are not what you need to be using for testing. So I'm going to show you doing a false positive that these things do not test and do what they say. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to check these couple of stones here and I'm going to let you see for yourself. Um, first off we have a 12 karat ruby, which I already tested once before. And on the back is where you hold the button down for the testing, back here in case you guys never used these before. So you hold the button down it's going to light up diamond or whatever and then if it tests for moissanite it's going to light up on this side where it says moissanite. So this is ruby, it's not going to test a ruby, it's already programmed for that. This is Zoltanite. This is a huge Zoltanite, worth a lot of money, but... Oh, come on. Tested positive wherever you're. This is a 37 karat diamond, why isn't it working? Oh, there we go. Okay, so... Uh, or like a 15 karat diamond, blue diamond. This is all tonight. Oh fuck me sideways. I was testing that earlier. I tested this glass over here. It came up as moissanite. This is glass. This was supposed to be amethyst, but it tests as glass under the refractometer. There we go. That's Zoltanite. So you guys want to be careful using these. There it goes again. Not moissanite, not diamond. It's zoltanite. There we go. Again, glass. Diamond. There we go. Let's see what. So, let me go back here to this ruby, see if I can get this. Yeah, see, that's ruby. It's not moissanite. It's not diamond, it shouldn't be picking up at all. These are similar to the diamond testers. It determines if it's diamond or moissanite. Alright, so there you go. Um, false positives on the moissanite tester. Don't buy them. I sell them, but I'm telling you myself, don't buy them if you're going to use them for testing moissanite and diamonds. You're going to get a false positive a lot. As you can see just now, just those few tests, how many false positives I had on these. So, um, yeah, you'll see them on the market for anywhere from 50 to 90 to 200 dollars for these. They're not worth shit. I sell them for a hell of a lot less than that, but I wouldn't buy them myself, but I do sell them, so buyer beware.